Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today, I show you how I use the Vallejo Crackle Medium. I have a separate video of the painting of the green glow-in-the-dark um, undercoat of this art toy. I use like the Vallejo Premium Phosphorant glow-in-the-dark paint and some a couple of Vallejo Mecca fluorescent paints. We are now applying liquid mask on the parts that we don't want to have crackle medium. So applying liquid masks, Vallejo liquid mask is fairly simple. You just really need to apply a lot uh, on the surface. Never do a second coat because it will peel off the first coat. Also the liquid mask will dry in less than a minute. Uh, to be honest, it's difficult for me to get a consistent effect with the crackle medium but it's fairly good in general with, with the overall look but sometimes I get better results. I don't thin the crackle medium, I just add a couple of drops of flow improver to prevent tip drying and then I paint it over the model in thick coats and let it dry a bit. You may use a hair dryer to dry the crackle medium and then once it feels dry to the touch, you could paint over it. Now here comes the tricky part. You should have a bigger cup um, on your airbrush so that you could paint in one coat because you cannot paint a second coat um, over the crackle medium or over the paint because you will lose the crackling or the crack effects. I mean. Once you paint the top coat, the black color, the crack starts to happen. So if you paint a second coat, you will co you will cover you will cover those cracks. Now you see me here misting water all over the model. This will force the crackle medium to reactivate. Once you sprayed or misted water all over the model, you will see cracks forming as the chipping medium reactivate so you will see the black paint moving and forming cracks and it's kind of fun actually now you see me here pushing around the crackle medium and the black paint with airbrush it's just air i'm just pushing around the the black paint over the crackle medium also after that i mean i'm removing the liquid mask here also you could do chipping effects it, it acts like a chipping medium once once the water has dried now you let this dry overnight at least i did and then once it's dry you it will feel tacky even after 24 hours because of the medium then you will have to spray or give it a nice gloss varnish let that dry for a couple of hours and then paint over matte varnish then you're done that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and do visit my website. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.